skies as far as the eye can see. At least this view helps the hangover. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about? Yeah. That looks good. It's a tradition. Pancake, my first fairy pancake. Uh, yeah, that so was with the brown cheese, yeah, and that was with uh, like butter cream. Green cheese, yeah. So uh, that one is the one that I eat usually. Yeah. But if you want to try brown cheese, that's yeah, another experience. Try both. When I was little, that was the whole fairy trip. That was, is, yeah, that was what it was all about. Svelletest. Svelletest. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. What a wonderful world. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs>
How long is it since we uh, did our last session? <laughs> Three years ago now. Time has flown by. Yeah, we did the, the chest piece. Yeah, and the dog on the thigh. Well, let's try it. We start with the sleeve uh, in uh, Linda's kitchen. <laughs> in Linda's kitchen. <laughs> Do you want to speak a little bit about your arm, by the way? Like what you have? Yeah, there? my arm is like uh, a tribute to my mom. Yeah. She passed away and uh, we did a tremendous job on that one. And your dog, too. Yeah. <laughs> Max. <laughs> like on, yeah, this one. Max the French. Max the French. Man, I love how we got him framed in like that. <laughs> the one portrait. Dream, Mola. Yeah. Like it's to do it. Yeah, that one. They love Mola. Yeah. Med det sagt, ikke hvis det kommer i vejen for at det kan fortsætte at holde på med det og holde på med noget. Og det er at det har så frihed til at rejse og ja, leve verden egentlig. Jeg har faktisk fået det til nu. Det er lidt sådan at nu har jeg lidt sådan et luksusproblem. Nå har jeg muligheten til å tatuere på de beste og største studiene i verden. Så det liksom, det at jeg startet å drive på studiet, nå kunne jeg være mer lønnsomt på min del. Er vi i en hurry? Er vi? Are we? Are we? <laughs> Your chance is still on the bed. No, because I can't remember anything black. And then I'll check where I put it. And I'll it there. I'll get a double check. Oh man. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Extreme! I can feel everybody's crazy energies. Yeah. You're driving me nuts. <laughs> My favorite thing to do was uh, to visit the mountain stove with my uh, with my mom, Aww. eating waffles, and I actually call it the waffle stove. <laughs> the waffle stove. Yeah, and not the mountain stove because I always eat waffle when I come here. We're down in the cafe earlier on, ordered a waffle, but they didn't have any waffles. <laughs> We've had a cookie though. <laughs> 
the whole trip's ruined. <laughs> so, but from here you can uh, get a good glimpse of the whole city. Right now we are in the heart of Olesund and Ike, our local guide, is going to tell us a little about, about Olesund's backstory. Well, thanks for asking Kyle. You're welcome. This beautiful, beautiful city was rebuilt again in 1904 because we had a special friend named Kaiser Wilhelm. That was Wilhelm. a German emperor which was very, very fond of this beautiful city. So after the fire broke out, he wanted to build this city up in Jugendstil. You don't say. Yeah, I say it. Wow. And now, to this day, it's 50,000 citizens living here and now, in this moment. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you, Ike. No uh, problem. Incredible information. No problem. Let's go.